Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Lars here of Killbit Nomad. And in this video, we are gonna be unboxing another power supply, actually. This is the Corsair HX1200. Coming right up. All right, so this power supply is Corsair's uh, Platinum uh, series. This is the uh, 1200 watt 80 plus Platinum that I have here right now. So we are gonna be checking this out and see if, if it's actually worth the price and stuff. This power supply is massive, as you can see right here. It does say here 80 plus platinum, 1200 watt. Uh, the earlier uh, power supply that I had was, or I was unboxing was the 1000 watts RMX series. So it's the gold. This is the 80 plus platinum. So it's a bit more efficient in terms of load and all that. I'm not sure about the pricing though, like, you know, the price gap or the price difference, if it's worth that much. For the most people, I don't think it is. But here we are. Let's cut this plastic cover here. Uh, I hope I don't scratch all the boxes because I'm a bit of an OCD, but here we go. Also on the top, if you can see it, ha it shows all or what's included inside. So DC cable set, one ATX cable, there's two EPS or ATX 12 volt cable, eight PCIe cables, uh, eight SATA cables, 12 uh, 90 degree SATA cables. So this one, I'm not really a fan of the L shape or the 90 degree SATA cable, because especially with NZXT's cases, you kind of need the uh, straight line uh, SATA cable for that instead of the L. This one is a bit of an inconvenience in my opinion. For most cases, this might be good, but for mine, my situation, it's not. Also, there's eight peripheral uh, cables. These are the Molex cables, the old ones. I never really use, haven't used them for like almost 10 years now. Also, one floppy drive. That's kind of weird that there is a one floppy drive adapter, but you know, it's, it's appreciated that that's there. Some of the features right here, it has a switch. So surprisingly, the other power supply didn't have the switch right there. So this one has a switch between single and multiple 12 uh, volt rails. So that's pretty good that you have an option to do that. I don't know how much you're gonna be using that as much, um, especially in my case, but it's good. 80 plus platinum, quite efficient op operation basically. So it's more um, efficient. At the back, it shows the fan noise level and the 80 plus efficiency. So you can see right here, there's a graph. Also the fan noise right here set from 40% system load up to 100% on how it works and all that. Also input rating and all that. All right, without further ado, I gotta stop talking. Let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> this is huge. If you can see, it's all the way up over my camera and it's pretty heavy too, so. <laughs> Okay, so there's an inner box right here. Uh, it's Corsair and all that serial key. I'm not gonna show it to you. Here we go. Wow, I like that it has the pouch. The 80 plus gold that I was reviewing earlier didn't have any pouch. It was like pretty much bare bones and all that. So I guess this is their flagship. So manual, this is very thick. It's, it, if you can see that, um, but it's only page one who, has, who is uh, English and all that. I mean, not page one rather, it's a first series. Let me see how many pages there are for English. That's actually quite a lot. Um, I thought it was only gonna be one page and stuff, but it, it's this thick. So not bad. Um, we're gonna be showing here, congratulations on purchasing new Corsair high performance. Here we go, let's put it aside. There's safety uh, information right here. Um, also, the first two pages are English and then the rest are pretty much, you know, other languages. Can never go wrong with uh, zip ties right here. Although I really have, I haven't been using them a lot lately. I should start using them. They're a sticker right here. Is it metal? So um, let, let, let's open this up. But this this one seems like hard, either hard plastic or metal. I'm not, I'm not sure actually. But yeah, I think it is metal. Okay, so we have a very, very thick uh, power cable right here. I, I guess we need that, especially when we are talking about 1200 watt uh, power supply or 1200 watt power going to your system and stuff. So here we go. So you get ample room or length here. That's pretty good. I like that. Now I like that there is a pouch or, or a bag right here. I like, I love it. What is inside here? Okay. So all the cables are right here. Let's see. So this is 
the PCIe cables. Oh, these are the PCIe cables. Feel this feels a lot more premium than the uh, the gold Corsair's uh, gold rated uh, power supply and all that. So I like it. Well made, to be honest with you. More PCIe cables right here. Now more PCIe cables. Now we have SATA cables right here. Okay, so I take that back. They do come with straight uh, SATA cables, right? Well, is it straight really? Was the endpoint right here? Okay, yeah, there is, an, they're all straight cables, so I like that. Not only the 90 degrees or the the L-shaped cables. Okay, so for this one, all another PCIe cables right here. Uh, this one is CPU cables, so as you can see, they're all pretty uh, well made. Okay, here's the Molex cable. I haven't used this for like years, so. But it's good to have if you have if you are in the need of a Molex cable. One more uh, CPU cable right here. We have the motherboard cable. Wow, this is pretty pretty sturdy and all that. Uh, the downside to this one, well, in my situation, especially with uh, NZXC, is that you're gonna have to bend these cable right here just to get inside and do a cable management stuff. So you know, for the case of your computer to look pretty. <laughs> this one is the L-shaped uh, SATA cables right here, 90 degrees um, SATA cables. So you, as you can see right here, I'll give you a few seconds. There's one more. Okay, these are the straight cables or straight SATA cables, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. I like, I like that they have more uh, straight <laughs> cables for the SATA and stuff. More L-shaped uh, SATA cables right here. Here one as well is the Molex cable. One more Molex cable. And lastly, the uh, that adapter um, I was talking about that I don't I haven't really used for a long time. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's put it back. So let's take this up. Okay. Wow, this is massive. I wonder if this like fits. It, this should fit my uh, computer, hopefully. Also, we gotta check if this works. <laughs> okay, put that aside. Wow, this is heavy. So, as you can see right here, HX 1200, this is massive. On the side right here, it's the HX 1200 Corsair logo. At the back here, you can see there's the multiple and single uh, switch for the uh, 12 volt, 12 volt rails, basically single rail, multiple rail. And then, so this has a, quite of a different um, configuration and stuff. Usually the motherboard, uh, ports or input is on the top, but this one is at the bottom with along with the peripheral and SATA right here. Um, and then on the right side, upper right corner, there's the PCIe and CPU cables right here. And then I guess all the way on this left side or left section are the SATA and peripheral. I'm not sure, but yeah. That's it, <laughs> as you can see. And then the fan is pretty, pretty good. And this is really, really heavy. Actually, I wonder if my uh, food scale can weigh this one out. Okay, it's at, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's at 2269, 2269 grams. I'll put it on the <laughs> uh, on the side if you, know, you need conversion and all that, but it's 2269 grams with that side. Okay, so this is just a very short video on showing you the uh, unboxing of the HX1200. That's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, and if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Lars with Kilbit Nomad. See you in the next video. Thank you.